Now, would you, would you start by telling us who you are? Yes, I'm David Kariuki Joroge. I'm the chairman of Kamete Resource Users Association. Right. Yes, and it is, uh, it is about 189 square kilometers. Mm -hmm. It starts from Roromo, that is Naprat Forest, and ends up at, at Rifa when it enters Nairobi River. In essence, when you talk about Kamete Water Resource User Association, mm -hmm. I suppose basically you are talking about Kamete River, mm -hmm. all the riparians and the wetlands that are around the country. Okay. Kamete Resource is mm -hmm. A component of a Kamite River itself mm -hmm. and her tributaries mm -hmm. and the dams that are in it mm -hmm. and the wetlands that surround that catchment. Mm -hmm. It's a, a subdivision of Earth Basin oh, and okay. it is in Kiabu, yes. Kiabu subcatchment. Uh -huh. yes. right. Now, what is the connection between what you are doing uh -huh. and the river itself? You see, what I'm doing here, essentially, mm -hmm. it is I fabricated this farm mm -hmm. and many others mm -hmm. to encourage the farmers to move from the area mm -hmm. and work, do their work, do their farming mm -hmm. in the higher grounds. Mm -hmm. By so doing, you are allowing this vegetation mm -hmm. and natural vegetation mm -hmm. to come and uh, you know, to recharge the river. So in essence, Mr. Karyuki, you were saying that what we are seeing here now uh -huh. is your fabrication. I, you know, I corrected the scraps. Yes. I did the red work mm -hmm. and fabricated the whole thing. Mm -hmm. We did the tests, mm -hmm. and as we go up on, uh, you know, the higher ground, yes. you see the works that this pump is doing. Mm -hmm. So it is my own work, my innovation, mm -hmm. and my artwork. Right. Yes. Now, as we were coming down the hill, uh -huh. I noted that it is quite hilly. Uh -huh. There is actually so many meters uh -huh. from the river all the way up to where this pump actually pumps water. Uh -huh. Now, are you, are you able to tell us that this particular pump uh -huh. has the capability uh -huh. to pump water all the way up to the tank that I saw upstairs? Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, it is pumping all the way. It is more than a kilometer uh -huh. and it is doing so. Uh -huh. And it is very heated, it is very steep and it is working. Uh -huh. Yes. So you are saying that you can be able now to submit this to the community? as a solution to the conservation that we are basically talking about mm -hmm. and it is also able to provide the alternative livelihood that we are talking about. As a matter of fact, this is a, a green economy. Mm -hmm. It's what, I'm, what I've done, mm -hmm. it pumps through, you know, through restarting other energies. Mm -hmm. And therefore we are not using any fuel, mm -hmm. we are not using any electricity. Mm -hmm. It is an alternative, it is a way, it is creating, you know, Agenda for mm -hmm. it is for food production that is food security. Mm -hmm. It is creating jobs for our young people mm -hmm. and own. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, mm -hmm. we are removing all the women mm -hmm. who are used to fetch water from this source, mm -hmm. and they are doing it over, mm -hmm. over in the hilly line. So we can say that this is the solution to the problem that we are having along our rivers and our wetlands for mm -hmm. very bottom agriculture. Mm -hmm. You, you were saying that this is the solution. This is one of the best solutions, mm -hmm. and it should be replicated mm -hmm. and replicated in other areas. Mm -hmm. And it can work, it is working, and it can work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, what are the farmers doing? Like now, the one who has actually installed this farm, what, uh, what is he doing basically? What is, what is happening? He has a lot of vegetables mm -hmm. and uh, he's making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You know, job creation mm -hmm. after, and reducing a lot of costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Approximately how many liters of water can this, this uh, pump be able to actually pump upstream? It can pump over, over 70,000 liters a day. 24-7, mm -hmm. 365 days. At no fuel at, at all. At no fuel. No the only cost, no diesel, no nothing. The only cost is to install. Uh -huh. Yes. Approximately how much do you, do, 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 do you anticipate that it would cost a farmer? to be able to install this again. I'll give the total costing when you go up there okay. because it varies between the steepness of the area. Uh -huh. Yes. So uh, the, the steeper it is, the more costly it becomes, or the steeper it is, the more cheaper it becomes? No, the, the, you know, the distance from this way, the distance from the farm. You know, you, you are going to add, you know, the, the cost. The cost the of piping, pipes. the laying of the pipes. Cost. Yes, pipe laying. Right. Yes. Mr. Karyuki, we really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm humble. This, this is one of the 
one of the projects that we will be embarking on because basically we want to be able to handle the food security that is becoming very challenging and very problematic in our country. Mine is, you know, I would like this, you know, this, this one to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. I will teach young men mm -hmm. because this is to pass to others mm -hmm. so that this technology mm -hmm. can go to the whole country mm -hmm. and Kenya as a whole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if we're all noting that the river that is, the, the, actually the water that is not being pumped up there, it comes back to the river. It's actually going back to the river. As compensation through. Right. Thank you very much. I would want to come back to you uh -huh. and if you could probably show us how it functions because it's, it's still right now uh -huh. but we would want to see how it works. You see, how it, it actually, is now, how it I, actually I had stopped over. it uh -huh. so that you may take this video. Yes. But mm -hmm. as you can see, mm -hmm. I will step up here mm -hmm. and after I press this choke, uh -huh. it is going to start all over again. Right. As you can see, mm -hmm. yes. Wow. Wow. A lot of water. Thank you very much. Hello. It will pump 365 days. Mm -hmm. It will work this 24/7 mm -hmm. without stopping. When it is dry mm -hmm. and all the farmers, as you can see, they are up mm -hmm. on the upper ground. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, that is uh, that is interesting. Now this is uh, one of the projects that we would want to embark on. Basically. We are partnering with Kamisho Water Resource Users Association as the Strategic Innovative Solutions Initiative, CC Kenya. And we are literally keen on actually working together with the national government in terms of the big four agenda because our president and the Jubilee government has really been concerned about the big four agenda and basically food security and health. And so this is one of um, the solutions, the interventions that we, we are going to be adopting because we would want to work hand in hand with Mr. Kariyoki, who has really done incredible work here. And as you can see, this pump, this hydrant is actually able to pump, as he said, if I may quote him, 365 days, 70,000 liters of water every single day. And I think that is the only way that we're going to be able to actually move the farmers and the landowners from the riparian, from the wetlands, from the river catchment, in order for them to be able to farm upstream. And basically, the thing that the farmers are able to do along the rivers, along the bays of our rivers, they can be able to also do this upstream because basically what they need is water. They can be able to do their arrowroots, they can be able to do their vegetables, they can be able to do everything else that they are doing along the belly, they can be able to do all this upstream. So we will be coming back to you because we would want to install these hydrants along our river so that we can be able to get people out of the riparian and so that we can also be part of the big four agenda of food security and basically health. I really appreciate Thank you for your time. So Mr. Kariuki, back to you again. Yes. Are you able to tell us what this is? I can see a, a tank here. You see, after we get water from river, yes. this is a correction tank. Okay. After you store water here, uh -huh. it will keep a lot of pressure. Right. So after there, mm -hmm. down there we found a dry pipe. Yes. That will go up to the pump and it will create a lot of pressure. Uh -huh. So what we are doing here, as you can see, will, you know, it will get a lot of water, it will create a lot of pressure, and that water will go to the pump. And through that growth, it will create a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. and the pump will start again. Right. Yes. Right. Right. And as you can see here, this is actually, where... Actually, that is basically what I wanted to know, because mm -hmm. I can see you have prevailed to drive farmers from all the way from the river bays, mm -hmm. all the way to you know to the steep hill upstream. If you can see there, yes. If you're allowed to see there, mm -hmm. that's our arrows. Yes. The farmers used to you know to, to have their uh, their works here. Yes. They used to plow here. Uh -huh. They used to plow to, 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 to cultivate here. Yes. But after we installed this farm, yes. you can see now mm -hmm. the natural vegetation is coming yes. back, yes. and the farmers mm -hmm. are in the upper side. Mm -hmm. 
So what am I saying? Practically, you can see after installing the pump, yes. now the farmers cannot disturb the liver bay, the riparian lad area, they are in the higher run. Yes. And therefore, after all this, our riparian are now safe. And I think that uh, now brings us to the third component mm -hmm. of environment conservation. And I think that is primary because in essence, we cannot be talking about food security and the rest if we are not talking about conservation. Because I can see you have to go now to, um, to um, you know, cover this area with the, with the natural vegetation, and you have also been able to conserve the bay leaves along the rivers, and it, it appears to me like now this is turning to be one big forest. What is going to happen in very few years? Yes. When we have this natural vegetation, mm -hmm. it is very good to filter mm -hmm. water. Yes. And at the same time, mm -hmm. it is the same places mm -hmm. where they are going to recharge our rivers. Yes. If we manage this, mm -hmm. by and then, mm -hmm. we are going to make this, this area mm -hmm. to be a natural environmental area. Mm -hmm. And it will be good for us mm -hmm. and for the generation to come. Right. It is sustainable mm -hmm. and it will also mm -hmm. be a way of creating a natural environment. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will be going upstream. Yeah. We would want to see the tank where uh, the, the hydrant is actually pumping the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably, as you can see from this uh, from this end, now it's... this is a very very steep hill. It is very very steep. As we were coming downstream, we were able to notice that it is quite steep. But the hydrant is able to pump almost many liters of water all the way up to the tank and we will be going there shortly so we can be able to see that. Thank you. Thank you. That is the distribution tank. As you can see that is distribution tank and the pipe that is now delivering to drip lines is here. As you can see it is the down here, we come all this side. This is the controlling ball fans. Yes, this is now controlling ball fans. When you do that, then when you open here, it will go to the to the pipes. To the to the you know to the you know to the you know to the drip pipes. Mm. And you can see the seedlings. You know down there you have the hydram of distribution distribution tank then this is the distribution pipe then you you do your uh, drip pipes here so that you use very little water and you can plow you can cultivate a very big chunk of land mm -hmm. yes because basically you don't need water all over you yes. just need water on the on You know, the, we have the, a lot the, of, you know, plants. we have many types of irrigation, mm. but this has been proved by time. Mm -hmm. This is the best type of irrigation uh -huh. because you use very small amount of water. Mm -hmm. So one pump mm -hmm. can plow, mm -hmm. you know, can cultivate or mm -hmm. can do more than five, six, ten acres. Yeah. And it can, it is possible because mm -hmm. you'll be alternating. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah, these are the young seedlings. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the other ones that you can see. Oh, how the other they are developed. down there. Yeah. Oh. Mr. Kariuki, would you, would, you, would you in a nutshell, mm -hmm. would you in a nutshell probably help us to understand how sustainable it is eh? mm -hmm. and how, you know, good it is when, when, when we, we, we talk in terms of the conservation of water? Because I can see we, 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 we actually the drips are dropping only one drop at a time on the seedling. We have many types of irrigation. Yes. We have furrow irrig irrigation mm -hmm. where we use terraces. Mm -hmm. We have another type of irrigation mm -hmm. that is called overhand mm -hmm. where we use sprinklers. Oh, the sprinklers, yes. The two types of irrigation mm -hmm. use a lot of water, yes. big amount of water. Mm -hmm. But the drip irrigation mm -hmm. uses very small amount of water mm -hmm. and it is very effective. Right. Yes. Right. So this is, basically you're saying this is more effective than... It is very effective yeah. and you use, you mm -hmm. conserve a lot of water. Right. And you can do, you know, you will do a lot of acreage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So these are young, these are young seedlings. Mm -hmm. As you can see, mm -hmm. they are getting and they will not be dry, even yeah. at, the, at the dry season. Yeah. Mr. Kariuki, I can see these now are at different stages. Because we have the seedlings up there, and then 
These ones are at a higher stage, and we have the ones that got fruit already. These are uh, a month old. Oh. After drip irrigation, mm -hmm. you can see that uh, you get, uh, you know, the survival rate is over 80%. It's over 80%, I can see. It is over 80% 80 survival rate. Mm -hmm. And you can see this another stage, mm -hmm. and you go to the... I can see these are at different stages. This, this, this are much older, they are older than those ones. It's like a, a month old? Or this month old, uh -huh. this approximately one month and a half to two months. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It is the same irrigation mm. that we are doing. Yeah, it's I can a see it. of water. It's, it's actually the same system. It is the same system. It's the same system. Yes. Mm. Okay, thank you very much.